might say, Sabuni. What the hell? Now you might say, Sabuni. This is actually. Shut up. Today, we're taking the delivery of Coke Tangent Effects. Now, you may or may not realize that Coke Tangent Effects is 1 over 10 effects. And now, you may or may not realize that this is different from arctan, which is tan to the negative first power, or arcsine, or arccosine, or you know all that. 1 over 10 of x, ready me amigo, 10 of x is actually sine of x over cosine of x. So 1 over 10 of x would flip that fraction to be cosine of x over sine of x. Dun -dun -dun. So we have cosine of x plus h in this case over sine of x plus h in this case minus cosine of x, not in this case, over sine of x, not in this case. And now we have the limit is h opposed to 0. What is cosine of x plus h? Well, mi amigo, you're about to find out soon and you will not like it. So, we're going to multiply this by sine of x over sine of x and this by sine of x plus h over sine of x plus h. Man, that's a real tongue twister. Minus cosine of x. Oh, um. Wow, heroes. Now you might say, Sabuni. What the hell? Now you might say, Sabuni. This is actually. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And that's over sine of x plus h from sine of x times h. Nice. So now we've got to do expand. <gasps> gives us going to have to instinctively shrink my handwriting cosine of x plus h is beep, 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 beep. cosine of x cosine of h minus sine of x sine of h so sine of x times cosine of x cosine of h and then minus sine of x times sine of x sine of h so sine squared x sine of h and then we're going to describe the cosine x to sine of x plus h which is cosine of x sine of h plus sine of x cosine of h. So, it's a cat. So, that gives you um, cosine x sine of h. So, cosine squared x sine of h. And then minus because we spread less negative door. Minus mm, sine of a, uh, x cosine of h. And now you may realize, let us rearrange this term. Wait, wait, wait! This? That? They're the same thing. So both of these are cancelled. And that's over it sine x plus h sine of x. And now, with our remaining two factors, we can factor out the sine of art. So that gives us limit of h opposed to zero, sine of h, and you may or may not realize that negative sine squared x minus cosine squared x is actually equivalent to negative one times sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Now what the hell does that mean? Well, this is actually equivalent to 1. So this is negative 1. Dun -dun -dun. So that means that we are simply taking out to negative 1 here. That's divided by it's sine of x plus h sine of x. Not so menacing now, is it, my guy? So sine of h over h as h approaches 0 will approach 1. So that gives us, we don't need h uh, approaches 0 anymore. So that gives us f prime of x is equal to, we have negative 1 over sine of x times sine of x is sine squared of x. Alright, that's it. Thank you everybody for watching and next time.